Now the next area we're going to do is the front and back crotch. We're going to join those. This is the back one. So with right sides of both pieces, both back legs, pin them together up at the waist. Down at the lower edge. Now you'll find there's a, a notch, it's a joining mark. Pin that together and the rest of it will sit nicely. What you need to do here is be very careful coming, stitching down around this curve. What we don't want to happen is that it becomes stretched. Once we've done this, now I've already, once we've done this, we're going to then overlock or zigzag the edge. So I've already worked out that my centimetre seam is on this edge here. If you can see on the machine there, from my needle to this edge is one centimetre. Keeping the edges nice together, guide your fabric through. This is the area that you, you don't want to stretch. So that's the back pant and now I'll do the front and then after that we'll overlock or, or um, zigzag. This is the area on here that on the front and this is the area that you you don't want to stretch there as well. Just go slow and manipulate your fabric. And now for the overlocking. We'll be back in a few moments. Okay, so this is the Janome Mylock 644D that I bought second hand and uh, we're going to do the overlocking in the crutch of the drawstring pants. So now that we've done the stay stitch, can I go faster with this one or is it? Yep, yeah. okay. Yeah. 
you know sometimes when it doesn't when I don't go close enough should I go over that and redo it or is it okay how how loose is it uh, it's just how missed close? it by that much um, do it again I'd, I'd probably just pull it all out and do it again all right all the no, way no no I'll show you okay um, you have the right sides of the fabric towards you and on the right side you'll see the stitching here there's two rows one there and one here so just pull all right okay so just pull that yeah you know what? work it slowly oh wow yep 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 so let it bunch up or yeah, not let it bunch up okay cut the end this cut end that end because you've Ooh. got it no, just cut the thread. You don't need oh. all that tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then That's just pull it out. It'll come out. Okay. No, keep your hand up here. No, no. From this end. Do it. Ah. So undo the bunching as a bunches. Yep. Otherwise, it's gonna. It's caught up there. We'll need to just, just really undo part of it. Just undo the threads. As yeah, it kind of bunched on on the initial one. Two, two, that one. Yeah, that feels a lot better. now what's the trick next yeah, trick the trick is to start at the end of the the line of stitching no no no, no. on this bit and here then up there no not up there this is a four thread overlocker yeah it has two layers of top um, stitch top stitching the other one is if you get in really close you'll see it see it just right up here Yes, I can see yes. it. This bit here. Right. Yeah, and I've pulled that. Okay. Don't strain it. Just um. Yeah, no, I've broken these so many times yeah, because of impatient. Hand, get your left hand closer to where you're pulling it. And that's that. Oh, look at all that overlocking. I just don't coming off. That's great. So now I can just pull all that off, yeah, right? Oh wow, that is so rewarding. Even if you cut a little bit of the um, the seam allowance, it's yeah. fine. Just don't cut too much off. All right, all right. I think I was being super cautious there. All right, take two. We're keeping the other one in because I want people to. God, learning how to do that just made me feel 10 times more confident going through and sewing that. I think if you know how to unpick properly, you're fearless for sewing, right? It's got to be part yeah, of the... Yeah. <gasps> if you know the shortcuts of unpicking, it's not a chore. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. That, oh, I like that. That's much better second time around. Okay, so that's the front, now the back. <sighs> I love overlocking. <laughs> I oh, know it's only part of it. Right. Oh, that's perfect. Love it. Hmm. Okay. And that looks just like a five thread overlocker done in two steps. All right. What's next? Um, joining the side seams. Okay. To join the front and the back together, get the right side of your back pan, and I've just placed it on my machine and, and put my foot to hold it. And the right side of the front, 
and um, pin. Once again, pin as many times as you need with the ultimate aim of the less pinning, the more less you need to stop sewing. I'm going to lay the bulk of my other side up on the machine just to hold the weight. Again, place the bulk of it on your table because it'll drag and you'll end up with a crooked seam.
So now that needs to be overlocked. However, to continue because we're not going to, um, we don't need to stop right at this moment. We're going to overlock or, or stitch the in leg before we actually overlock and then do the all three in one. So with the with the in leg at the crotch level you can if you can get a close in here we'll have one seam going one way and the back seam going the opposite direction and that's just so we don't have a lot of thickness going on there when we're stitching and then pin that together so that's in place. Continue down one leg. And then follow through on the other side. So it doesn't matter whether you've got the front or the back towards you, but you stop, start at one leg opening using your centimetre seam. And then stitch up and around. I'm trying to, un there's a lump at the back and I don't, um, as I go around the curve I just want to make sure I've got it away from the stitching otherwise I've caught it in. So
Now at this point, have a look at all your stitching that you've done to make sure that you haven't come close on the opposite side to the edge. It's easy to do. If so, just um, you can pull out that section and uh, restart it. And stitch it there. Um, at this point, if you wanted to, you could actually, before you overlock, you could turn the pan inside out and try it on, just because, to see how it's going. You can't do a real fit until we've got the elastic in or the, the tie in as well. But it just gives you a look of what you're doing. Okay, now for the overlocking, we'll be back shortly. Okay. So when you're overlocking, what you do is you, because there is a right and a wrong side of overlocking. Mm. So on the seam, have the front of your face of your garment facing you. Yes. And then overlock down that side. So never do it on the pocket side. You always do it front well, side. There's probably times that you won't be able to do it like this. It's just that you push the seams. The general rule is push your seams to the back of the garment. Yes. So they're not in view. Yes. Um, and so therefore you have the right side of the overlocking on the outside. Because with a garment, it, it's nice to have it looking as nearly as good on the inside as it is on the outside. Ah, mm, that. So the, therefore the uniformity and the way that you do the overlocking is pretty important. Well, I it get just it. Just helps. I get it. Yeah. Now on the other side, when you get to the other side, you won't be able to do that. You either start from the foot, start from the foot, and work my way and up. Work your way up. Okay, that makes. I, I did not know that, but I am. Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. That's it's very all interesting. About making the inside as good as the outside. Okay, that is really that makes so much sense. Then now that you pointed it out.